Y'all did not check on me. You did not check on me. Why not? Why not? Y'all know that the men's team at Jack State University has a history of running my blood pressure. Y'all know that. Y'all know I have not been diagnosed with, with hypertension, but when it comes to these boys right here, they know how to do it. They run my numbers up. And I think I had two real ones. Check on me. And I appreciate that. I appreciate that. The rest of y'all ain't check on your homeboy first. You feel me? But let's get into it. And we're going to see why I am so adamant about the fact that I needed to be checked on. Okay. But before we do, make sure you hit that subscribe button, okay? I am your homeboy first, and this is the realest, most entertaining show in the game. Put it on some. Again, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, hit that share button, and put all your people on it. You understand? Also, fuck with our sponsor, the King McNeil Collection, for all your sorority or fraternity needs in terms of your gear. You understand? They are the best in the business. So you should go to kingmcneil.com or download the app. You will get 20% off your first purchase. Again, that's the King McNeil Collection. Sell them first cent. Okay. But yes, this was a very, very, very uh, exhilarating. A uh, week for our guys. Okay, actually, last three games to be one hundred with you. Okay, oh, uh, because we beat Prayer View seventy nine to seventy four in a close one, and then we followed that up at home uh, by beating uh, UAPB by a score of eighty nine to eighty four. Okay, and then we knocked off uh, Valley sixty eight to sixty seven. Okay, so a very very eventful eventful week uh for our guys um and since we swept the week it's only right it's only proper it's only fitting that i strike up the mother fucking band Let's go! Let's get into it. Let's get into it, y'all. Okay. Let's start off with the UAPB game. This was a very thrilling game. If you like the modern version of basketball in terms of shooting the three ball, okay. Uh, guys were letting it fly on both teams, okay. Uh, in terms of some team numbers. We shot it well, they shot it well, okay? We shot 49%, they shot 48%. Uh, they shot 46% from three ball. They were stroking it. They were, okay? We shot it well from three as well. We shot 38%, okay? We hit 11 threes, they hit 16. They took 35, we took 29, okay? So the three ball was flying in the AAC, okay? Uh, so if you like that brand of basketball, you, you would have loved to be up in that thing, okay? If you were up in there or if you watched it on uh, JSU Sports Network, you know what I'm talking about. You feel me? In terms of uh, free throws, we shot 77%. They shot 73%. Uh, we out-rebounded them, and we needed that, okay, because we won this game uh, 89 to 84. I'm sorry if I forgot to mention that we won the game 89 to 84. 
So we definitely needed these extra possessions. Okay, so we out rebounded them 41 to 30, including 17 offensive boards to their 10. Okay, in terms of turnovers, we kept that under 10. That's a magnificent game. That's a magnificent game of protecting the basketball. Okay, uh, we had only eight turnovers. Okay, uh, they had 13. Uh, we, we lost a fast break battle 22 to 15, but we did win paint points 36 to 26. But let's get into this, some uh, individual numbers, okay? Because there were two guys who really, really stood out in this game, okay? One was a brother from uh, UAPB by the name of Joe French. We tried to send that young man to the pros. Yes, we did, okay? Because that young man had 28, okay? And he was stroking that bitch. He was 9 of 17 overall, but he was 7 of 11. From three ball. Let me tell y'all something. Okay, let me let me help y'all with a scout report. If it's a light-skinned fella who's wearing the number 30, he probably can shoot. He probably can shoot. See, back in, in the gap, see, back in the gap when I was a boy and I was coming up, hooping and playing in high school and shit like that, if there was somebody on the other team who wore number 23, usually that motherfucker could jump. Usually he thought he was Mike Jordan or something. Well, that's what I'm talking about now. If it's a yellow boy and, and he, he's wearing a number 30, he's trying to emulate Wardell Stephen Curry, which means you got to stay attached to his ass. Okay, so this young king played 39 minutes. So he damn near played the whole game, 9 of 17 from the field, 7 of 11 for, from Trey Ball. He was wetting our ass up, no cap, okay? Now, they had another young man. He hit five threes on us, too. He went 5 of 12, okay, a Mr. Williams for 19 points, okay? And then they had a Mr. Milton who uh, had 21 points on us, okay, including uh, two threes. All right, so they, they were shooting that bitch now. But we were shooting that motherfucker as well. And one man in particular came out locked, loaded, and ready to spray. And that was Jack Town's own Mr. Ken Evans Jr. See, 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 uh, uh, I think Pine Bluff had some kids that they brought to the game. Maybe it was on a spectator bus, so I don't know. But there was some kids sitting up there in me and my little boot thing section, okay? And they were going for Pine Bluff, okay? And there's one little kid in particular, okay? He was getting on our damn nerves. I got to be 100. He was getting on our damn nerves, okay? So y'all know how the tradition is that we supposed to stand until we make our first basket, you know what I'm saying? Until Jack State makes the first basket. So uh, 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 when the announcer says that and we stand up, this young man just say, oh, y'all going to be standing up for a while. Ken Evans must have heard that shit. He must have heard it. Because Ken came down and his first shot attempt was a tray ball. And why up? <laughs> and my wife going to say, well, it didn't, it, it, we didn't stand up long. <laughs> That girl could be something else now. Yeah, well, let my little boot type fool you. Yeah, she could be something else. Motherfucking right. And see, I just looked at the little ass. As I, I just looking at his ass. Mm -hmm. But Ken Evans didn't stop there. He came down again. Next attempt. And splag it. Third attempt. All these threes. Splag it. He had a fourth one, but I think they called an offensive foul on the screen, okay? The boy came out on fire. That's what I need, Ken Evans Jr. When you shoot, that's how you shoot. Like they said on Bad Boys, when, when, when Martin was driving that bitch, remember my, my, uh, uh, Will Smith was complaining about how Martin would drive the car earlier in the movie. But then near the end of the movie, where he had got down flow that bitch. They had to really flow that bitch, you know what I'm talking about, to, to, to beat the evil duel, you know what I'm talking about, and get through that little hole in the wall, you know what I'm talking about. 
Remember Will Smith told him, that's how you drive. God damn it, Mr. Evans, that's how you shoot. Shit. 14, uh, 38 minutes, first of all, by the way. The man is well conditioned. 38 minutes, 14 of 25 shooting, 7 of 13 from 3, 2 of 3 from the free throw line, but 37 points. 37. It would have been a 40 ball if they hadn't taken that damn three off the board for that bogus ass illegal screen that they call. Okay. 37, 6, 1 dime, 2 steals. The man came out on fire and fuego. Yes, he was. We only had two players in double figures in this game. That was Mr. Evans and that was Colt, uh, or that was Chase Adams. Okay, who came off the bench and his return? It was it was great to see the floor general back. Okay, but those were the only two. Those are the only two. Okay, uh, and some guys didn't take as many shots as normal because you had a guy who was hot as hell. So yeah, get him up. Yeah, you know, shit, you hot like that? Get him up. Get him up. Get him up. Okay, but uh, Jo had eight points, nine boards. I would have liked to see him attack that big motherfucker that uh. UAPB had a little more, okay? But it seemed like J.O. was being a little passive you know, in this particular game. I like to get uh, that against Valley. Uh, he got back to the normal J.O. Uh, jump hooking that motherfucker. You know what I'm talking about? I, thankfully, I got a chance to meet that king uh, after the game. You know what I'm talking about? I didn't get a chance to get a picture with him. Or nothing, you know what I'm talking about? But I was just pulling off in the slab and saw him walking out. And I had to tell him, got keep jump, jump hooking they ass to death. Keep throwing that damn jump hook. Okay, cause he got a mean one. Okay, well, but shout out to Jo, eight points, nine board, three down, two steals, one block. You know you gonna fill up the stat sheet. Okay, uh, big trade had four points, four boards, one dime. And as I was telling somebody, I think my brother PT, I was telling him, big trade has come a long way with his conditioning. Okay, he's in better shape this year. You can see it. So shout out to the strength and conditioning coaches. You feel me? You've been on your shit and getting these kids uh ready to play. You understand? Know uh, uh, Mr. Cornelius. Had six points, two boards, two dimes, uh, one steal. I had an opportunity to meet that king. You know what I'm talking about? I just told him, shit, keep shooting. Keep shooting. Now, he didn't shoot it well uh, in the UAPB game, okay? But in these prior weeks, this man that helped us stay afloat with some of these injuries that, that didn't happen, shit like that, this young king's shooting has really helped us. You feel me? So shout out to that young king. Uh, Mr. Hunt contributed with six points. Three boards, two dimes, two steals, okay? Uh, my dog, Zeke Cook, had nine points off the bench, six boards to go with that, uh, one dime, uh, two steals, and uh, his defense was vital down the stretch on on, 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 on that goddamn uh, uh, UAPB's version of, uh, uh, of Steph Curry, you feel me? He had to help out on that motherfucker because he was on fire, okay? But shout out to Zeke. I finally got a chance to meet uh, Zeke for the first time uh, as well, even though I've interviewed him. I hadn't uh, I hadn't met him, okay? So it was nice to meet that young king. I told you all before, that's been my, my favorite player for the past two years. He just plays with so much uh, intensity, okay? And I really appreciate what he does out there on the floor. You understand? Like I told you all, Chase Adams was back. OK, uh, they, they're working him back in. So he came off the bench and he was able to give us 10 points and one dime in his return. All right. Coach Young gave us nine points, five boards, uh, one dime. I noticed. Shit, that might have been the UAPB game. I was really paying attention doing warm up. That boy, that got stupid bounce. I knew he had bounce. That boy got stupid bounce. You understand me? So, so I like the fact that he's not just selling for threes anymore. He was one of two uh, from three ball this time, okay, being more selective. But he's trying to get to the rack. He tried to poke one one time. You feel me? Uh, I like that. He, like I said before, he's a stocky kid, and I see he's stupid athletic, okay? So shout out to that young king. I'm excited about what he'll do going forward, okay? And also shout out to Mr. McDaniel. And uh, Mr. Bell, they too uh, got in the game. Mr. McDaniel didn't get anything in the books. Uh, Mr. Bell did uh, uh, gather a rebound for us, though. 
okay? But that was the UAPB game. That game ran my goddamn blood pressure up because, like I said, uh, uh, UAPB's version of Mr. Steph Curry, goddamn it, uh, Joe French, we tried to send his ass. If not to the NBA, we tried to send his ass overseas somewhere with that shooting performance. But we got up out that bitch. But then the ba the ballet game, okay? Hey, and that ballet played us tough up there at, at that place. We only won by eight points, okay? And J.O. Uh, led the way in scoring in that game with 18, okay? Well, I was thinking at least on senior day, okay, we had the crib. Shit, you know, we're going to go ahead and do what we do against Valley. And there ain't no slight against Valley, but, you know, Valley, you know, has, hasn't won a number one game this goddamn year. You feel me? You saw how they went viral for that shit. Like, you know, shout out to their uh, student commentators and everything like that. But this ain't what I was looking for, okay? But in terms of team stats, they shot better than us, 47% to 43%. Uh, they hit 11 threes to our three. They shot 58% from three, 11 of 19. They were wetting that motherfucker. That's a new thing now, man. So you get, if you get hot, you can stay in games and you can sneak some games. And God damn it, they damn near got us. We shot three of 15 for 20% from three. We lucky to win this bitch, okay? In terms of free throws, uh, they made 14, we made 13, okay? They were 61% to our 65% because they shot three more than us, okay? Uh, in terms of rebounds, we did out-rebound them, and if, if it wasn't for this, we lose. Okay, we had 38 boards to their 23, but 17 of our boards were offensive to the, uh, compared to their eight. So that's nine extra possessions. We needed those. And a one-point victory, 68 to 67, we absolutely had to have that. You feel me? Uh, in terms of turnovers, again, we projected the ball pretty well. We only turned it over 12 times uh, compared to their 14. Uh, we lost the fast break battle, 14 to 5. We dominated the paint. 42 to 20, but again, they were spraying that bitch from deep, okay? They were spraying that motherfucker from deep, so that's something I'm sure Coach Mo and his staff going to be looking into, uh, you know, leading up to our uh, opening game in the tournament is defending the three-point line So, because that's back-to-back -back games against UAPB and against Valley where we, we weren't defending the three-point line uh, well, and you know that'll get you beat. In the tournament, you know what I'm talking about? You let these motherfuckers get the feeling themselves. And because look at this shit. Uh, Mr. Reynolds for Valley, two for four from Trey Ball. Mr. Sanders for Valley, four for six. Mr. Washington, four for six. Mr. Brown, one for two. They did, they did, they, they were wet. They were wet. Shit. And we can't let that happen. And these are shooters on a damn one and 30 team. You know what I'm saying? So we got to tighten up defensively. We got to tighten up, okay? But in terms of uh, individual numbers for us, uh, Ken, Ken led the way in scoring, 19 points, nine boards, one dime. You feel me? Uh, followed by J.O., 16 points, eight boards, two two dime, one steal, two blocks. Okay, Big, J, uh, Big Trey, excuse me, contributed with seven points, seven boards, one block. Uh, Mr. Cornelius uh, didn't score in this particular game, okay, but, well, which is another reason why I told the young king after the game, don't get frustrated. You know what I'm talking about? We witch out. We, we real want to see what the young man has been contributing, so don't get frustrated. Just keep doing what you do, you feel me, because he has been a contributor uh, through the rough stretches with the, all these injuries and everything like that, okay? Uh, but even though he didn't score, he did uh, contribute a board and uh, two dimes and one steal, okay? Uh, Chase Adams had two points, uh, one dime in this game, okay? Zeke had 12 boards in this game, and they were much needed. Five boards to go with that, two steals. Uh, and also, I would say one of the defensive plays of the game, undoubtedly, that in, in the crunch time, uh, last possession, uh, Ballas guard had the ball. Uh, made a dribble move on baseline on the right side. Made it to the goal. 
Looked like he would have had a nice little attempt on a reverse layup, but Zeke smartly came over to help. Okay, left his man and came over to help and uh, uh made that young king think twice about taking that shot. Eventually, you know, they move it back around, and long story short, they end up turning it over. Okay, so that that was that was great defense. See, shit like that only motherfuckers who know the game. See shit like that. There's no stat for that. Maybe it's an advanced stat for that now in this analytics world, but there's no common stat for that. Points, rebounds, assists, blocks, steal. He ain't getting there in one of those with that play, but if he doesn't do what he did in that moment, if young blood go over that layup and make that shit, hell, we lose. You feel me? So it's little shit like that, man. That's why you got to watch the game and goddamn know what you're watching uh, to really uh, appreciate some of our players who don't normally, yeah, he had 12 points this game, but uh, what he does for us and what some of our other guys do for us as well is much bigger than what the stat sheet uh, says, okay? But Mr. Hunt, uh, he contributed 2.5 boards, four dimes, okay? Uh, so shout out to that king, five big boards uh, for a guard, okay? Colton had 10 points, two boards uh, in this game, okay? Uh, 40% from Trey Ball. I take it, young king. You feel me? Uh, we definitely needed one of those tray balls down down the stretch, like a motherfucker. You feel me? We sure enough needed that. All right. And also shout out to Mr. Bell. Uh, he played 13 minutes, didn't get uh in the books for any points though, but he did get out there on the floor and uh get some minutes for us. Okay. But uh, those two games, y'all, had my shit through the roof. But I'm proud. I'm proud. I'm proud. I'm proud. I'm proud. I'm proud of this team. Fighting through all these injuries, fighting through all this adversity. Uh, and just sticking to their own mentality. Two dogs, one bone. Okay, so I look forward to their opening game in the tournament. Okay. Uh, we will be playing Texas Southern on Thursday at 2 o'clock. Okay. We'll be playing Texas Southern on Thursday at 2 o'clock. All right, we do have the sixth seed, uh, and they have the three seed. All right, so anything can happen in these tournaments, so make sure you're checking out your Tigers and cheering them on. Put it on some. Please subscribe to my daddy's YouTube channel because the more subscribers he gets, the more attractive he looks to sponsors. The more attractive he looks to sponsors, the more money he can make. And the more money he can make, the more money he can spend on me.